Hi, this is Adam from Inflectra, and in today's video, we'll be talking about how you can triage an incident or defect that was logged during testing. So first of all, let's log in as our system administrator user. And just a reminder, the login is administrator, password is please change, capital P, capital C. In the previous video, you may have been logged in as Fred Bloggs, who is our tester. If that's the case, please log out and log back in as system admin. So now we're logged into the administrator. Make sure you're on sample application two, where we've been doing all of our testing, and go to the tracking incident section. And by default, it will show you the list of defects that have been logged, which we call incidents, in a table form. Now there's only one defect, it's actually shown here. If you could also log another defect directly in the system, so if you, do, if you wanted to do that, you click on New Incident, there's an option to log a defect outside of testing. So in the last video, we logged it during testing. We could also log, for example, enhancement that we have an idea for, uh, you know, idea, add two-factor authentication or something. And you can always add these in any time. So you're not limited to just doing defects during testing, but you can also log an incident or enhancement anytime you wish. And we'll do this so we'll have more than one item in our list. It'll be a little bit easier and more interesting to do that. Hit save. So now if we go back to our defect list, you will now see we have two incidents. And it will show you the fact here that there's two and they're both open. And the priorities are both set as high, which is not as interesting. So maybe we'll go in here and we'll just quickly change that one to critical. So that way you can see the status change and we refresh like that. Great, so that's our table view. And what we wanna to do today is assign this defect to someone. Before we do that, we might wanna see who we could assign it to. So the one thing we can use is the board view and that gives us a Kanban board at the defect level. Very similar to what we saw with the tasks, this now is available for defects. And you can see all the defect statuses, and you'll see that both defects are now listed in the new status. As we start to triage things, you'll see that defect move across the statuses in this Kanban view. The other thing we can do is go to the by person view, and that will show us who's been assigned defects. In this case, no one. So that means either one of us, system admin or Fred, is available to fix this defect. And you could actually just drag the item down from the unassigned items view if you wanted. However, we want to actually use the workflow. So to do that, we'll go back to our previous view, which was to go back by status. And we're going to reassign this one, which was the first one we had, which was the bug we logged in the last demo. And so let's go ahead and assign this. So this was a bug that the page was missing. We had a 404 error, if you remember. And if you look down more carefully, you'll see that we have the actual result, the expected result, the screenshot, and the steps all included in the description of this defect. You can also blow it up full screen as well if you want to see more information. So let's go ahead and assign this. So we'll assign this by hitting the assign button and I'm going to choose to assign that to Fred. So that's fine. And when we assign it to Fred, we're going to add a little comment. Fred, you know, please fix this. And if you go here, we'll see the other fields are all optional so we don't have to do anything. We'll hit save. If any of the other fields were required, we might need to put in information like the resolve release. So that's been assigned to Fred, and the status is changed to assigned. If we go back to our list page, you'll notice that defect is now moved over to assigned, and Fred's icon is now listed in the story card. Great. The progress bar still says 0% complete. And so let's log out and log in as Fred. Fred will go to his My page, and he will see the assigned defect right here. So let's go ahead and click on it. And as, as Fred, I'm going to fix the bug. So let's pretend I fix it. So resolve incident. And I'll add a comment. I fixed it using by adding the missing page. Say so it, was, it was a missing page, not a bad URL. It was not in the source control repo for some reason. And uh, if you are using Spyro Team in conjunction with tools like Git or Subversion, you can actually commit this defect token, this incident number that you see here. You can actually put that into your source code control tool, and that will actually link an association to the commit. Uh, we're not doing that in today's video to keep it simple, but if you are doing uh, source control using a linked provider through Spyro Team, you can actually have that integrated view. And we do have plugins for various tools like Visual Studio, so you could even do that from within Visual Studio and capture the incident ID directly from Visual Studio. Uh, in your case, in this case, we're going to fix it, so we'll hit save. And now it's been saved. If I log back out and go back in as the administrator, and go to my defect view, you'll notice the status has changed. It is now resolved over on the right, which is excellent. And if I get, click on the defect, 
let's say I want to you know, verify this, so what I might want to do is retest it. So to do that, you can go to the Association tab of the defect, and you'll see your original test run. And the nice thing is I can control click on that. I can then see that the status of the defect has changed, and I can hit the retest button. And let's go in and pretend I'm going to retest it. Hit next, and I can do pass, pass, and let's pretend it all worked. So now it's good. Hit finish. And now when I go back to my test results, change the filter, I need to show all releases, you'll see they're all now marked as passed. So that's good. So we fixed the defect, retested it, and passed the test case. So we're all set. So that's how you would run a test case. That's how you would log the defect, triage the defect, and make sure that the defect is assigned. And then the, how you would log in as a developer, fix the defect, and then as a manager do a, or tester, do a retest, verify it truly has been fixed, and move on to the next defect or next task. So thanks for watching today's video. In the next video in our series, we'll be showing you how you can review the project and use the dashboards and the reporting uh, to see how the information changes. So thanks for watching today's video. Speak to you soon.